Logging is very crucial aspect of microservice design because it helps us to troubleshoot and debug lots of things. So we face lots of issues sometimes which can take many hours. But if you are doing a proper logging that can be solved in just few minutes. Using logging, you will know why your API is failing. Your API might be failing due to some database operation, database query, or while talking to some external microservice or while doing a data validation some region or the other region you will know that if you are doing a proper logging you will get all these things inside your logs so in this video we are going to talk about this critical and very important aspect how can we do the logging right with the elk stack so what are the key benefits of the microservice logging it helps us to debug and troubleshoot it helps us to monitor and analyze the performance security we can also check the historical data and what are the best practices of uh, microservices logging? I mean, when you are building a multiple microservices, you obviously need a centralized logging platform. So you can see all the microservices logs coming together because sometimes the request is flowing through the multiple services through the events and you need a whole complete picture of what is the happening with that. So for that, we need to have a correlation IDs. We need to have a log level based logging like which particular log level you wanted to log structural logging that means all the microservices should, should follow the basic common structure of logging the data sensitive data you should mask the, like the personal information and what are the popular tools which uh, we are going to talk about first of all elk that is the agenda elastic search log stash kibana and a beat that is the platform we are going to talk about. Other platform for the logging is a Splunk, Datadog, New Relic. And if you are running uh, your services on AWS and GCP, they might provide some CloudWatch-like solution where you can centralize the logging. I mean, CloudWatch is not centralized. If you are using Lambda, you will have the CloudWatch attached to your Lambdas and your services. If you are deploying it on your container or EC2 instance, they will you will get the logs on the file-based logs or through on the console all those things is on our agenda so recently after completing the grafana prometheus and this nestius kafka series this is my third series which is going to be interesting again here we are going to cover uh, elk stack elastic search log station kibana and we will also talk about the beats which is uh, nothing but a data shippers so elastic search or elastic stake stake is a group of open source product i mean th those are actually uh, designed to analyze in the log and visualize the data so it's a well-known called elasticsearch log station kibana okay, elasticsearch log station kibana is like a sweet pair they can be used together to achieve lots of things elasticsearch is an independent tool that can be used without log station kibana log stash it actually used for centralized logging and log enrichment it uses this uh, extract transfer load uh, tool that transform the data and process the data through Elasticsearch, right? Elasticsearch, very popular search platform, right? Uh, if you remember, it's not something new. It's there since last 20 years and still popular for the, the text-based search, for the token-based search. Uh, I mean, I have used... Now, in this whole playlist, what we are going to cover is, we are going to talk about how Elasticsearch can help us. So... We, first, we will talk about ELK stack where we are going to deal with the logging, microservices logging where we have Elasticsearch, Logstash, Kibana, that's a thing. Where no, NSGS is a producer for the logs in a particular standard format for, with the particular log levels. You can either push the logs through Logstash and Elasticsearch or you can also use the Beats uh, platform and push the logs to Logstash and Elasticsearch. So this computation and combination we are going to discuss how you can push the, the logs to the Elasticsearch because Elasticsearch just is a NoSQL store, right? Where you just create an index and push the data in a standard format. Okay, so first of all, we are going to understand the logging with the Nest.js. I mean, you can also talk about simple Node.js. What are the popular modules for the logging like Winston, uh, Banyan, and I think the Morgan Logger. There are many modules, okay? The debug, simple debug log for the console. Then we'll talk about how we can customize the logging in the Nest.js, okay? Either Nest.js provides its own logger, Nest.js logger from the common module, or you can write your own custom uh, logger. That's the second thing. 
Now, once you have all these things, we will try to bootstrap our stack with the ELK, Elasticsearch Logstack Shibana using Docker containers. And we will try to push the logs through the Node.js container. Okay, now the logs can be either directly be being pushed to the Elasticsearch index, or you can follow the pattern. You can just push through a uh, Logstash transport. You will use a Logstash transport in the Winston and you will push that to Elasticsearch. Or we will be also using these Beats platform which will work as a data pipeline for us to visualize the data through Kibana when the data is being pushed to the Elasticsearch. So lots of new things, lots of learning and I'm going to segregate it into multiple sections because I cannot make a big bulky video. These will be separate sections and I will be keep adding them in this playlist. Okay. Thanks everyone. Thanks for watching.